like you're in position. Sock is still your first and only objective. We need you to compensate the man face to face. The agency's got millions of data on him, but the man's history is a school of red herrings. Nobody knows whether he's a U.S. agent or a terrorist. Those things aren't mutually exclusive. Hippie. Until we know different, we're treating him as a friendly. So don't blow his cover. Any alarms mean mission over. If Soth sees you before you see him, the mission's over. Don't do anything to compromise him. Does that include killing him? Yeah. Leave him alive, if you don't mind. Updates on your opset. Another complication for you. Found the credit cards our man Poindexter, a.k.a. Soth, used to buy the train tickets. What's the complication? Two seats in coach. Looks like you have at least two terrorists mixed in with the civvies in the cheap seats. But you're dealing with tight quarters. I wouldn't risk anything lethal. You don't have the room to maneuver if they're complications. Are you taking anything? Anything for what? You know, an account of the cargo. Shut up! What? Nobody here can... I'm not worried about these people, but if the boss hears us talking, neither of us is walking off this train. Hello? Conductor? Does anybody know where the lights are? Grunton's chums in the CIA came through for us. Soft's right leg is more prosthetics in it than Lee Majors. Apparently, he had a disagreement with a landmine. Might register different on thermal. Perfect. Monsieur, you requested earplugs? Ah, yes. I'm very sorry, but I couldn't find any. If your neighbors start shouting again, please feel free to call me and I'll ask them to be quiet. Thank you. I'm very sorry.
Wake up, Poindexter. First, you tell me, who are you? I'm your Uncle Sam. Come to make sure you're still one of the good guys. How do I trust you? Your name's Norman Soth. Ask me about the chestnut tree. Okay, fine. What are you doing here? If the men I'm with catch us talking, they'll kill us both. To make your Sedona story fast. It's an agency job. The Joint Chiefs want a military presence in Indonesia, and I was part of the plan. That's all I can say. Who's your runner? Clifton Finch. What about the cryogenics lab? Sir? What is it now? You have a phone call. Stay hidden and don't make a noise. Sorry if I woke you. It's him. Is this a fresh phone? We put the chip in just an hour ago. Good, let's go to the bar car. I don't want to talk here. He was lying about his handler, wasn't he? Yeah. Finch has been on sick leave for 16 months. Hack the laptop now. And trail Soth. Laser mic that call. We still can't risk blowing Soth's cover. Fisher, we need that phone call. Dime to a dollar, he's talking to Sedono. on our Mossad leak. I don't know, 80%, maybe 90. I just have a bad feeling about this train. I think our cover's blown. Hold on. No, it's just a feeling I have. I don't think it's safe to talk right now. Okay, but make it fast. I'm glad, stay worried. Shin, bet, are you kidding? I could barely believe Mossad, much less. Of course, of course. Always assume they know what you're doing. Exactly. It's a joke. Right. Mein Gott, I can walk. Four more days, tops, then you're bulletproof. It's not safe to talk now. I need to get off this train. No, no, I can't. It's not possible. Of course. Till next time. Good work. Grim? Give me a sec. Focusing on the Timorese Mombe for expediency's sake. The new translator will take a few seconds to catch up. Take your time. There. Springfield demonstration. 80% plus fatalities. Custer would be proud. What the hell does that mean? Nothing good. What about that? Might be daily phone calls to delay release. Translator's still a little hinky. Right. We've got enough to work with. Get topside, Fisher. We're pulling you out of there.
Our cover's been blown. We're getting off the train now. 